This is what we did uh, starting the Thursday before Valentine's Day. Sergeant Falsgraf again started making calls, confirmation calls, representing herself as uh, Keystone Candy Grams were strictly distributors. And she made quite a few phone calls. And then early Sunday, Valentine's Day, about 30 of us staged or so, uh, had a briefing at uh, the sheriff's office. And we went out and started uh, locking people up. Now, now we went out with both barrels that day, and we'll talk about that in a second. But to back up a little bit, to make this operation more realistic, this this company more realistic, we had a couple uh, neat little additions. Uh, this time, uh, we use the services of our good friend, Mr. Uh, Reb Orell. Um, Reb has a, a, a website company. Uh, he makes great websites, and what Reb did for us was, I said, Reb, I, I want a website that says Keystone Candy Grams, and I want it to look realistic. I want your average person to go to that and go, wow, this is a real company, and that's exactly what Reb did. Put together a great site, which is still up at KeystoneCandyGrams.com, candy with an I, not a Y, and we're still getting hits today. And, uh, and, and if, if you go to this, folks, you'll see that the site has some beautiful candy. I don't know where he got these pictures of candy from, but it also has uh, some testimonials uh, that uh, he made up, which really sound realistic. Um, we also uh, have um, a delivery confirmation button on there where people were actually putting in their name, their address, and scheduling their delivery we'll call arrest time, scheduling their arrest time on a pull-down menu, which we did the uh, deliveries from 9 to nine a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and then along with that, um, we took it another level, and we, we added actually a Facebook page to it. And uh, we started off with, with 12 fans. We had some 12 fake fans. And, uh, again, beautiful candy on this site and some, uh, some other testimonial comments on there. And now what I understand, as of this taping today, uh, we're up to over 60 fans. Think about this. Sergeant Falsgraf calls a bad guy's house. Um, you can confirm, you know, if, if you want to go on our website, la da 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 The bad guy does that. He goes on the website, checks it out. All right, this is a legit company. I'll get the candy Sunday between 9, uh, between nine and 10. I mean, he's scheduling his own arrest and doesn't even know it. It doesn't get any better than that. It's, it's a, it's a, like I said on, on the TV uh, interview we had, it's a sweet operation. <laughs> and I got to tell you, um, having that, Having that website really legitimized it, and the Facebook just took it to another level. Yeah, Reb did a great job. And, and uh, yeah, so it's turned out really well. Um, and, and and now we got the National Law Enforcement Museum has contacted me, as you know. And this Friday, um, the National Law Enforcement Museum, which is going to be based out of Washington D.C., uh, it's, it plans on opening the fall of 2010, and it will be a museum. For, for police, for everyone, but it'll be focused on police and law enforcement, and it will cover the entire United States. And, folks, the Anne Arundel County Sheriff's Office will be representing stings in that uh, museum. So it's a real honor for them to reach out to us. How cool is that? I mean, I remember two, three years ago going to Maryland Sheriff's Conferences, and we were getting memos about this place being built, and they were looking for funding, et cetera. So when you told me that, that the museum reached out to you, of course, I went home and I told the family, and I told both my children, I said, you know, when you guys are grandchildren, uh, you have grandchildren, you would be able to take them to D.C., be able to look at some artifacts, such as the box, and say, hey, my dad and uh, a buddy of his, Mr. Bate, were involved in that stuff. I yeah. think that's cool. I that's, think that's, it's really that's neat. neat stuff. Hey, Rick, I forgot to say that, you know, when we talked about this Flowers by Ron, what I hold, hold up, held up here <clears> was a, a magnet. That was where delivery magnets that were on our on our on our vehicles, our delivery vehicles, and uh, what I have here, this was the magnets that were used for the delivery of the Keystone Candy Grams, um, and then you know just just one in your hooked is on there, and our undercover telephone number, uh, and uh, our KeystoneCandyGrams.com because you know if if you have a business, you're going to have to have a website, and uh, God darn it, we got one. And if you have a business, you have to have money, but. The county taxpayers didn't pay for this. Yeah, let's, let's go into that a little bit, and that's for all these operations. For, for every one of these operations that we do, we have grant money, federal grant money that pays for the overtime and the props such as, such as these that we see here. So it doesn't come out of our taxpayers' money, at least not locally. It's, uh, it's a federal grant, so that's, where, that's the reason we're able to do this and get our warrants reduced because of operations like this and other things, get our warrants reduced to 37% now. You know, last month our overall reduction was 300 plus and that's 
I think that was our best month yet. Yeah, that's very significant. From going from 13,584 to 8622, yeah. that's huge. And you know, uh, some some papers had some uh, reports in there about this Keystone Candygram operation, uh, and not all the charges were really brought out uh, enough for the for the viewers to see and the readers to see what we really went after. You know, we're responsible for warrants for everything everything from misdemeanors to very serious felonies. There are no more murder warrants outstanding in Anne Arundel County. There are none. Um, so we have, we're responsible for all of them. And I tell everybody, 88% of our warrants are misdemeanors. 88% of our warrants are failure to appear in violation of probation. And the majority of our felony warrants are for theft over $500. So the majority of our felony warrants are for thieves, you know, not for serious um, person-to-person type of crimes, you know, like murder, rape, and robbery. Um, so uh, we live in a very safe county. But, you know, as we've said before, we get 800 to 1,000 new warrants Every single month. And with that being said, yeah, we, we served our fair share of violation of probation warrants at FTAs uh, on Valentine's Day. However, there was multiple assault cases that we cleared or made arrests on, drug charges, burglary charges. A peeping Tom. Yeah. We got that scum in handcuffs, yeah. which Thank is a goodness. good thing. So, so look, Rick, uh, great job on this operation. Thank you. Again, uh, big kudos to the men and women of the Sheriff's Office, both sworn and civilian. We really appreciate your help and those from the Anne Arundel County Police and the Anne Arundel County Detention Center and the commissioners, our partners Absolutely. in the commissioner's office. So, folks, I want to thank a few people that happen to make this show occur every single month. First,